What's in your Azure environment? Your Azure subscription contains a lot of data, so getting insights out of it can be a challenge. And I know that you could open the portal and look around, and given enough time, you could probably document everything and even draw some diagrams. But what if I told you there was a better way? Serverless 360 is a solution that has four different modules so that you can manage the cloud at an application level. And what I'm gonna show you today can help you track the evolution of your Azure subscriptions and where your investments are going with the documents module. Now, I know what you're thinking, documentation is kind of boring. I get it, but it's the docs that help us keep track of all of our stuff and it's some of the first things that we look to when we have to do an audit, or if it's time for all that chargeback and showback of the costs that keep the cloud lights on. And it's the Azure Documenter module that will convert all of these cloud data points into insights, and that'll help you better understand what's going on in your environment and where all of your investments are going. And this is all done through several different reports, starting with the executive summary. And this is, of course, the report that your executives want to see at a high level of all of the things going on in the environment. That way, they can have a complete picture of what's going on. And it's going to break down everything across all of your different locations, resource groups, and resource types. Each one of the other reports that are here will dig deeper into each one of these areas that are covered here in the executive summary. And one of those things that are most important at the executive level would be a billing summary, so we have a separate report for that. And this is, of course, where you would track the spending on all of your resources. And to make things easy to follow throughout all of these different reports, they're grouped in the resource group, locations, and resource types as well. And notice that some of these resources are healthy and some are unhealthy. So what is it that controls this health status? Well, that's a good question, and it has something to do with following the best practices. Let's say, for example, you have a storage account, and it's open to public internet access. And this is a potential security risk. And if you were to look at the Azure Advisor or Defender for Cloud Security Best Practices, you know that you should be using a storage account firewall to secure it or even a private endpoint. And if you don't follow those best practices, the resource gets marked as unhealthy so that you can dig into it and see what's going on. Now for our next report, let me start with a question. When everything is working smoothly and going just fine, and then suddenly something breaks, what's the first thing you should ask yourself? The answer, what changed? Now to know what changed, you could dive into the Azure Activity Logs history for each one of your resources and go looking for answers, but you and I both know that's not always the most convenient way to find out what changed. Now to make this simple for you, the Azure Documenter can do snapshot comparisons. And you can either click over here and add a new configuration, or you can modify an existing one. Now to do this, you wanna select the type of doc that you wanna generate, and you can also look back at the version history and download any of those prior versions. And this report will generate the current month and that past month together so that you can see what's going on. It'll also show you all of the new resources that have been created during that time and all the ones that have been modified. You can even do a cost comparison between two different periods. And that'll show the charges before and after with that real world cost and the percentage. Another report here is the security compliance report. And this would go over to the security team. Now, depending how your company is structured, those security folks could address those things themselves or they'll reach out to the technical owners and make all the changes necessary to your resources so that everything's in compliance. And when you're defining any of these reports, you have to give it a name and then decide how you want it published. Your first option here is a simple one, just generate a PDF that'll be dumped into your Azure storage account. Then you can share the file as you like. However, once you send a file to somebody, you of course lose control over that file. So you could export it instead to the Document 360 repository, which is a full knowledge management solution, including version and access control, audit trails, and more. Then you just pick from the subscriptions that you wanna analyze and then set any filters that you need to. And the last step here is that you can set notifications so that the right people can know that a new doc has been generated. And this can be done through Teams, Slack, PagerDuty, emails, and more. And now that your reports have been generated, notifications will be sent out to everybody who needs to know that they have something new to go check out. And all the Serverless 360 modules have user management. Here you can create the rules and create also custom roles. 
and you can define a granular user policy so you can set permissions on features that you want them to manage, or they can just generate documentation and diagrams. When you're done with all of that, you can just click save. Speaking of diagrams, those usually get created and stuck out on some file share somewhere and forgotten and almost never get updated. So over here on the left, you can create and store your diagrams for your apps right in Serverless 360. And now that everything's been documented in your environment, you should go investigate some of those unhealthy resources of yours. And you should check over here at this video for some more tips and tricks. Happy learning.